Hello everyone, welcome to another PowerShell video. My name is Ed, and in this video I want to demonstrate how to use PowerShell to find open ports on a server. Now, if you are familiar with the ethical hacking world, you know that tools like Nmap, uh, Nessus, and all that can tell you information about a network, what's open. Uh, I'm just listing two of the most frequent ones that I use. And they can tell you what's open, what's closed. Now, from a hacker's perspective, this is ideal because they know what they can try and attack and see what information they can get from it. But what happens if you are sitting on a network, the firewall team is not available, or you need to know what's open so that you can tell them what to close, for example, or whatever the requirement is. You can use this little script that I put together to do this. Now, what the script does is, if we just step through it quickly, is you specify the target host, which will be the server name. In this example, it's going to be my vulnerable 2019 server, which I'll be demonstrating in other lessons on how to attack it and how attackers attack exchange. Then you specify the start and the end port. Now, what I've done is I will limit this to um, three ports only because it takes a little while to run. And then I'll explain the output on the screen to you. So if we run the script now, what it does is it's almost like like a ping, but a ping with a little bit of extra. So what you can see is on the screen, it gives you a warning field to say, listen, it's failed, failed, failed. Now it's not the case because you can see, yes, port 23, 24 and 26 are closed, but 25 is on the list. Now this is because 25 is open. So in the grid out view, you can see that based on what I specified here, this port, this port, and this port is closed, as I mentioned, and this port is open. So a quick way just to understand what is running on a machine. Uh, let's say the firewall team came and said, listen, yeah, there's a server that's got um, an FTP port open, which is not secure. Please close it. And you're like, I'm not sure I ever had it open. You can quickly run a check see what's open and if it is open close it so i just thought if you're not familiar with how to run nmap or how to use nmap scripts or anything else and all the environment is locked down you can use powershell and it'll give you the information right on the screen and then you can give this information to whoever needs it so just something for you to use i hope you find it helpful thank you very much for watching